up? My name is Siddhika but you won't call me Sid and today I'm going to be doing a favourites video which is very rare for me but not rare actually this is something I never do on my channel so if you're not aware favourite video favourites videos are basically those videos in which you know you round up all your yearly favourites and you tell them to people or monthly favourites depending on how regular you are I'm going to be doing that and um, yeah I've basically sorted it out into different categories so yeah let's start <laughs> Okay, I'm, you know, breaking it up into, you know, girly favorites, then productivity favorites or, you know, things that could make you grow better, do better in life and, you know, other bits and bobs, random things, alright. I would suggest you actually do stick around, like, whether you're a guy or a girl for the skincare favorites because that's like a thing, you should. Everyone needs skincare in their life, man, I don't care. Even if you're like, oh, I don't need anything, I just need some soap on my body and I'm done, you should. Alright. So let's start with beauty. The first thing, the e.l.f. baked highlighter, I genuinely love that. I mean, you can build it up, it's, it can be very subtle, it can be very heavy depending on how you use it. Then this, is, this year I actually started using blush, which was very weird for me. So I really love the Tarte blushes. Uh, I'll insert my favorite ones over here. And uh, my favorite lip colors, alright, um, I really like Jeffree Star. So I'll, you know, insert my two favorites over here. And... Um, I basically really like red so yeah I'll even give you know an Indian drugstore favorite of mine so I guess I really like the Maybelline I don't know what the hell is the name whatever yeah that so I just you know put it over here I'm sorry I don't have it with me I'll be putting in insert so if you find this kind of weird yeah it's kind of scattered I can't help it sorry all right um then after oh my god I love Victoria's Secret all right I'm a big fan of that brand so I basically am gaga over the body butter so 2017 was the year for body butters for me and I love their secret charm body butter and then love addict or whatever and right now like this january i've gotten addicted to their lotions so these two lotions are my current favorite that i'm using a lot i absolutely love victoria's secrets for the perfume and for the lines talking about perfumes uh i love perfumes or right, i'm absolutely crazy about perfume i'm absolutely crazy about perfumes so when it comes to perfumes my favorite is Givenchy's intense play all right i love it it smells very i mean i put the notes over here but it smells so you know rich and deep and nice and if you can't you know buy that or find it the body shops uh, god knows what's the name but i'll insert it and put the name over here that is so amazing and it smells almost the same so yeah well you can definitely check that out also i really love the body shops vanilla mist i mean it smells it smells like food and every single guy around me that I, whenever i want that scent every guy around me has been like oh my god you're like a candy shop and they just love it boys love when you smell like food all right i also love sheer love oh uh, i also love sheer love yeah it's also pretty nice and uh I'll actually do a perfume collection video someday. Anyway, my nail polish favorite. I'll insert them over here. I don't remember the names by heart. So I'll insert a nude one, a red one, and you know, like a really dark, vampy, uh, purpley color. I mean, I genuinely, genuinely love them so much. I, I mean, you can't get better than that. And honestly, I think these three colors will suit any skin tone. Uh, I mean, in, in like between, you know, fair and medium skin tones. I don't know how much it would work for dark, deep skin tones. Actually, the red and the purple might, but I don't know about truffle shuffle. All right. Okay, for skincare, I actually have a lot of favorites. The first one is my Benefit Cream. I mean, I like it a lot. Uh, I like my Kiehl's Cream too, but actually I find the Benefit's Cream kind of better. Like when I moisturize, you know, kind of use it like a mask, kind of heavy-handed. I mean, I just feel like, you know, it's doing more. I don't know why. I just like it better. Then after that, I really like, uh, I can't, Aruga, Aruga, whatever. This brand has some awesome skincare. My dermatologist, uh, Dr. Shobit Karoli, actually suggested it to me. I'll give his information if you guys wanted i mean i really like him so if you're around delhi ncr i highly recommend him tell him siddhika sent you all right please tell him he'll remember me if you guys want a non-medical option i really like keels so keels has a very similar thing so the arugas vitamin c is kind of like you know keels da uh, daily vitamin c whatever whatever serum i mean that oil is pretty pretty warm whether you're a guy whether you're a girl the uh, keels is actually better than that vitamin c serum it just makes your skin glow and that keels also has a clarifying serum and i honestly love that 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 i actually love i mean you can notice a difference like within a month when you use it like even with um, 
Mela ke you can, but with I don't know. There's just something about them. Like I love them. I personally love both of them a lot. Also, I really like Korean skincare. Like I'm a big fan of Korean skincare masking and everything. So I really like these under eye masks of mine. I mean personally, like yeah, I I like treating my skin. I'm sorry. All right, actually I'm not sorry. I love it. My hair favorite would definitely be this conditioner. Um. For me, this conditioner, I mean, it's like I barely use conditioners. I mean, I just sh shampoo my hair. I have an oily scalp, so I, you know, don't really care that much. But whenever I use this, I know my hair looks so bomb and it's like so straight and everything like that. So yeah, I really love that conditioner. My favorite body wash currently is the Philosophy body wash. I don't think so it's available in India. I got it from Australia when I was there. I loaded up on it. I have like several of them, but I really like it. Ugh. All right, now let's get to apps. All right, so my favorite application for the laptop is the screen, whatever. I don't know if you're going to be getting it. Like, I, I guess you can find some version of it. So basically, what this does is that um, it makes your screen turn orange, yellow, or some color. It depends on whichever color you choose. So you know, when you're working in the night, it doesn't strain your eyes and it doesn't affect your circadian rhythm. Blue lights actually harm you in a way, especially in the night. You're not able to sleep. Circadian rhythm is your body clock, your internal body clock. So if you don't um, have red lights around you, yellow lights, or whatever, or if you don't wear glasses that actually you know reflect those lights it could affect your sleep and you know a lot of problems happen i mean at least some articles i'm not a doctor but yeah look into it this app will actually help you i even have it on my phone but that's like an inbuilt ios thing that comes with my phone so i wanted one for my mac all right so my favorite cell phone apps would definitely be productivity so over here like you can choose in the free version i don't know what android whether it has it or not in the free version you can choose up to five things or habits you want, habits you want to do and it keeps giving you reminders of that like oh please tell me this is fucking recording i'm going to dig a grave for myself if it's not thankfully it was recording i would actually kill myself if it wasn't recording i mean oh my god i talk so much and like oh this is not recording like, fuck my life thankfully it was anyway so uh, the productivity app you can choose up to five habits you want to track or right? like you can be like call your dad clean your room something like that whatever five habits every single day you will be able to actually you know you'll get a reminder from that app whether it's morning habit evening habit or whatever so yeah it's a really nice app to remind you that yeah you need to go do certain things all right the second app i would like to suggest that you should try and was a big part of my 2017 was the app calm in 2018 actually january basically i discovered headspace but honestly i love both apps equally both apps are for meditating and uh, i'll talk about that more later on someday but if you want to get control of your shit your emotions if you really want to you know be like okay fine i need to get my zen i need to find my chi all right you need you need to meditate i mean i would suggest it more than anything else over here sometimes when we're meditating and we realize the mind's wandered off noting gives us some very clear direction in that moment we pause and identify the nature of distraction oh yeah thinking or Oh, feeling. Having noted, there's a sense of having dealt with it. This makes it easier to let go of the distraction and gently return to the object of focus. All right, this is the ladies thing. All right, a lady's favorite. P tracker. P tracker is basically a period tracker. So basically you can input, I should stop saying basically. So you can input the days like, okay, fine. My period starts from this day to that day. And boys, please tell your girlfriends or your sisters about it. The cool thing about this app is that if you consistently do it, like, okay, fine. You track your periods, but you can also daily track your mood. So then you can get to know like, you know, the dreaded word PMS. So at the end of the day, let's say Monday, I felt that I was too hungry or I was groggy. Tuesday, I felt sad. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I felt sad. Saturday, I had my period. So I can, you know, after four or five months, find out the habits or the trends or the mood swing that I have that are caused because of periods. It happens, unfortunately. Like PMS is actually a real thing. Girls getting moody and bitchy or whatever is a thing. I mean, I know they all are like, oh my God, it's like a excuse. You guys might be thinking that, you know, what you can't blame everything on your periods but, but it actually happens i don't know nature fuck nature so at least you know if you continuously do this for like 
three four months after that in this app you can take out the data analysis that okay fine this is how your behavior changes and this is how your mood swings are after four five months you can actually you know download the analysis of the app and it will tell you you know okay fine on an average around these days you tend to be this mood the moment you can identify how you behave the moment that moment you can get in control so for me i know that i tend to get more emotional and upset and you know i want to cry on every single thing you know before my period hit me so at least then if i'm aware of it i can control it right anyway then i talk too much about this uh the next 2070 favorites actually there are so many instagram apps that i like for editing i could do a different video on that i'm not involving it over here if you want me to do a different video leave a comment like this video whatever tell your friends to subscribe to me please subscribe to me if you're watching this video please please all right so getting back to this a january favorite for me would be happy feed happy feed is more like a gratitude app so every single day you write three things you're grateful for or have gratitude towards and yeah it's actually very nice if you want to start practicing gratitude in your life it's something that i would suggest you should do because without gratitude you won't be happy all right it's another thing that i can talk about but not right now live me i actually love this app oh my god i mean it's a app where you go live and i like going live every single day on it uh between 11 to 12 oh my god it's so much fun and i like the people over there it's really nice i mean obviously creepy people everywhere but i like it more than instagram i mean on instagram you can actually see you know the number of people leaving going whatever so even if let's say 2000 3000 people saw my live like during the half an hour one hour i, I was there um you yeah, you can only see you know 50 people are constantly live 80 people are live 100 people are live so it just feels kind of upsetting with live me if suppose uh you know it's it's like a counter so it's not the amount of people that are watching you live but the amount of people who saw you live and left so it's kind of like a ego boosting thing i like that app it's nice games okay i don't really play games but a 2017 favorite game of mine was word event all right i honestly honestly love that game So what we basically do in Wordament is that you know you make words and it's got a timer. It's pretty cool, you know. I'll show you a demo right over here. But oh my god, it's nice. And my favorite app for actually playing games, like actual game game app, is Flow. I mean, it's like an abstract game. I I, I just show it to you. I can't. It's like the pipes and you need to connect the pipes and you know it's just nice for creativity if you're interested in that. My favorite TV show. Oh my god, Young Sheldon. I don't know when it launched. What happened? But. After so long, I've been interested in some show like so passionately. Like the Young Sheldon is the best show, and Ian, Lian, Liam, whatever his name is, I honestly love him. That kid is everything, and you need to watch that show if you haven't seen it. Even if you haven't seen the Big Bang Theory, I mean, why? But you need to watch Young Sheldon, whether you like the Big Bang Theory, watched it, didn't watch it. I mean, you need to. I don't know if I actually told my book favorites so I'm just going to repeat it again. So my book favorites for 2017 or recommendations would be The Linchpin. Uh it's an amazing book. I would talk more about it in the video of you know if suppose you are like an artist or a creator, painter, a singer, a blogger, whatever you are, like an uh, basically you know someone who is um artists are basically call them that only and they want to sh- share the art with the world tips and tricks for that so linchpin actually tells you you know how can you become an in- disposable asset and you know share the value of your content with everyone and how can you grow uh you should read this book but i will be talking about that in a very different manner using some concepts from that book later the second book i would suggest is the big leap honestly if you actually want to you know progress or do something you need to make that jump All right just let positive things good things happen to you and usually I don't know why human beings love self sabotage I've seen my friends even do that I even do that a lot so yeah the big leap basically teaches you not teaches you it tells you and helps you you know push yourself towards that leap where you can embrace all the good that's happening to you and you know have the positive vibes you know what I mean I'm sorry if you felt this video was rushed I don't have enough space in my car and I didn't want this to be like 50 minutes long when I'm just explaining and explaining and explaining and you know oh god it would be endless please subscribe ask your friends to ask your mother to ask your brother sister relative boyfriend girlfriend I do not care yes so there is that car okay bye thank you so much for spending your time with me and I hope you enjoyed the favorites and tell me if you have any video request down below and I shall do it bye bye